Hi everyone, I'm Hazel and although I am not a parent of someone with Duchenne, I did have a brother uh, called Darren and he had Duchenne. Now he was diagnosed back in 1994. So I'm talking to you today from a perspective of growing up with the condition rather than bringing someone up with the condition. And knowing what I know now, being the age I am, being a parent myself, I often think to myself, what would I have done or what advice could I give to a parent you may have only just received a diagnosis or very recently received a diagnosis. And I think the first thing I should say to you is there's no right or wrong way to deal with this. You know, everyone is going to feel how they're going to feel. It's okay to feel angry. It's okay to feel upset. It's okay to be frustrated. It's okay to feel bitter and jealous and all of those negative feelings that you might be feeling. It's equally okay. To grab the bull by the horns and think no I'm gonna deal with this and it's gonna be okay however you want to feel is is absolutely acceptable if you really don't know where to start or what to do the first thing I would do is talk to your medical professionals talk to your doctors talk to your GPs, talk to those, that medical team that you will start having around you, talk to them. Talk to the mental health professionals, you know, if you're struggling mentally. When I was growing up back in the 90s, mental health was not even a thing that existed. Now it's, you know, a real big talking point, as it should be. And I think now a family unit hopefully has a better support system in place if it's needed than maybe perhaps 20 or 30 years ago so there's that to consider there's lots of professionals out there who are trained that can help you with this so use them and don't be afraid to ask for that help there is a Duchenne community out there as we know it's online and it's totally transformed I think the way people seek support and the, the way people build relationships around this condition and that can be such a positive thing equally much like how the Duchenne diagnosis can feel overwhelming. I think sometimes the Duchenne community can often feel a little bit overwhelming. And it's okay if you do feel like that. You know, it's okay if you want to take a step back. It's okay if you just want to deal with it at arm's length. It's equally okay if you want to dive right in and get fully involved. It's however you feel is right. What I'm trying to say is there is no right or wrong way. To deal with this diagnosis what you're dealing with is really hard but and this is the most important thing just because your child has recently had a diagnosis of Duchenne does not mean they cannot live a fulfilling happy life my brother was the most awesome individual you'll ever meet in your life he loved his music he loved his films he loved his cars he loved his sport. There was nothing about cricket kid didn't know. And I was his big sister. There was about just under three years between us. We were very close. We used to spend so much time together. I used to help care for him as well. Um, so we just had such a close bond. But he lived a really good life. And that's the most important thing that all of you need to know about all of the stuff that you go on in between hospital appointments and and all these different things that you've got to consider. You know, my brother lived a really good life. So if you take nothing else from what I say, please believe me when I say your child will live a really, really good, fulfilling life. And your other children will too. 